I know other people still see me as black, other races, right? So like, if I was to do something illegal and get arrested and go through the justice system, I'm still gonna be treated as black, you see what I mean? But to my black companions, my black peers, I'm not seen as black. I'm seen as someone who, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't care if this is taken in the wrong way. It's not my intention, but it is what it is. I'm gonna be vulnerable with you and be honest. As a black man, I am glad that I did not get, I did not let my environment influence me the way that it influenced other people within the environment because my mom's family house is in the hood and I grew up there, but I didn't let it affect me because I saw the criminal activity. I saw the illegal things going on. I see the killings, the shootings. I see, it, it was a mess, you know, I see all of the sexual assault sex offenders in the neighborhood i seen all of that right all of that had a lasting impact on me but i knew i always wanted to be different i knew that i was different and that that stuff didn't appeal to me and so i'm just glad that that control me influence me and i'm glad the way that i grew up the way i did i'm glad who i am now because i take a look back and i'm like man those same guys literally my, one of my neighbors sex offender did this did this just got sentenced to 15 years. And I'm just kind of grateful. I know that might not seem, that might seem bad to say, but I'm just grateful I didn't go down that road. What's up guys, it makes me vibes with another video. If you're new to my channel, I make vlogs, music content, festivals, concerts, and I kind of just speak with some of my mind. So if you're rocking with it, like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. For a while now, I've been wanting to kind of talk about it, but I stumbled across this video that talked about the awkward black guy, right? And such an excellent video, I recommend that you go watch it. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit within my culture as a whole. Growing up as a black man already is, has been difficult because the stereotypes of what it means to be a traditional black man. I grew up uh, kind of middle class my father did construction and my mother was a payroll manager for a big casino from where i'm from i had the latest and the greatest the best and things like that or i would dress a certain way i would dress preppy especially in high school i would dress preppy with spurs or whatever shoes i had and i always wore like you know college shirts and short shorts and things like that. Honestly, I would get talked about and, and, and picked on. I'm not sure about any other community, but I know and specifically in the black community, we have such a strong hold on what we think a traditional black man should be within society. My family, I have cousins, uncles, they fit that stereotype to the T. And it's not a bad thing. It's just they fit it to a T. But me, however, always being different, I've always not felt black enough, as that makes sense. Um, and because I'm a black male, we have this, in our society, we have this out of box of like what we should fit in. Just right now, and I've talked about this on my channel before, but I think about, I think about black men that I see on television and how usually we are portrayed in such a negative light whether that's through slavery, the use of distributing drugs, being a uh, almost like a drug dealer or some type of gang violence. We are not portrayed in the best light. And sometimes you do get this like a uh, black boy trope where we are a nerd or we are something different. If you look at society, like if you look at certain television shows, like the most famous obviously is being Carl Carlton from uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's that's probably the most famous one I can think of. You also think about like Childish Gambino and you know his character in Atlanta. Tyler from um, Tyler Williams who played and everybody hates Chris. Now he plays in Abbott Elementary. You also think about just Tyler the Creator. You think about Kyle. These certain black men who don't necessarily fret fit the trope or the stereotypes of what we have to be. Because even with women, uh, I found, particularly black women, I can't speak on other races of women. Um, although my experience 
other woman as well. But predominantly black black women, men go after, um, some would say Pookie and Ray Ray, you know what I mean? The, the, the hard, the gangster, the, you know, full of tattoos, the really like, you know what I mean? Just straight, tough, beat your ass type of guys within the black community. Which I understand. I understand why that would be attractive. I understand why that would be appealing. But from my perspective, I was never that. So from my experience, it was really hard trying to date black women because they never Tyler the creator has his line and I'll play it for you here. You can't relate to these things I say to you. Like, you know, I, I identify so much like with him because I understand the idea of not fitting in that and wanting to because you want to be treated equally. You want to be treated equally but when other like people within the community treat you as like oh you're not black enough you know, I mean, there's been certain things that I've done over the past years. And again, I've talked about this on my channel about being plant-based or skydiving to do a certain activities on my personality or me liking anime, right? I love anime. Me, you know, starting to get into Dungeons and Dragons, um, certain, you know, uh, sci-fi and, and Marvel movies. Like I can talk to you hours about. It's, it's certain things that I do now that I look back and I see other people doing it and I'm not really like, okay, this is just my personality. I don't, I don't see how this will make me less of who I am as a person because I like these certain things. But there again, a lot of women who genuinely as a black man, if you do not fit this stereotype, then you are not accepted. And sometimes it's difficult finding my way in the world because I know I belong to the black community because like I know other people still see me as black other races, right? So like, if I was to do something illegal and get arrested and go through the justice system, I'm still gonna be treated as black, you see what I mean? But to my black companions, my black peers, I'm not seen as black. I'm seen as someone who, for lack of better words, someone who is pretending. But like, I went home the past couple of weeks, and if you guys have been, you know, watching my channel and I wore like, I'll put a picture up of my cousin and I. I wore like my Tyler the Creator shirt and I wear two two different Yeezys to kind of like match my hat and different things like that. And they asked me what I'm wearing and I'm I'm like, what do you mean? This is normally what I wear back in Texas. But you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. I don't mean to rant. It's just, I see the, I see the amount of backlash that, you know, black, black men get. You know, it's already hard being black. It's extra hard when you don't feel like you belong. And, and when other people still see you as black, but trying to date within our community. And that's the thing, when you are dating within our community, you see, you might look at that and be like, why are they dating without their race? But you have to understand, if we're not accepted in our own community, we're gonna date outside of a race. You know, it's just, it's just that simple. Why would we date someone or try to go within a certain race if we're not accepted? Just being honest with you. Um, I think this is such a it's an issue that no one likes to talk about or being called Oreo or you know it's, it's certain things like that where you you take a step back and you're like man how do I navigate within this world because again I know in the justice system or whatever I'm still seen as black but I know that within my community who I do honestly do want to be accepted by but the more time goes on I'm like less and less and, and worried about being accepted through the, the black community, but you know, in a general sense, you want to be accepted and not having that acceptance or feeling less of who you are sometimes is a, can mess with your, your mental health, being, being honest with you. Um, sometimes I get tired of watching movies where we're always seen as, you know, aggressive. We're always seen as a criminal. We're always seen as someone who's doing something illegal. We can even take a look at a movie that came out on Netflix some years back called Monster. And that guy being, you know, 17 and being like an honor student, someone who has a good head on his shoulders, someone who stays out of trouble and is almost seen as like a nerd, right? Almost like a, a Miles Morales type character. And we can see ASAP character, ASAP Rocky's character how they kind of get involved, you know, and kind of mix and how it almost seems like his character was out to 
kind of uh, influenced him in a way. And he almost goes to jail and gets sentenced because he gets caught up in the wrong environment. And even though I was caught up in the environment because my family home is in the hood back home, I never allowed that to, to affect me. And I don't care if this is taken in the wrong way. It's not my intention, but it is what it is. I'm gonna be vulnerable with you and be honest. As a black man, I am glad that I did not get, I did not let my environment influence me the way that it influenced other people within the environment because my mom's family house is in the hood and I grew up there, but I didn't let it affect me because I saw the criminal activity. I saw the illegal things going on. I see the killings, the shootings. I see, it, it was a mess. You know, I see all of the sexual assaults. I see the, uh, um, what do you call them? Uh, sex offenders in the neighborhood. I seen all of that, right? All of that had a lasting impact on me, but I knew I always wanted to be different. I knew that I was different and that that stuff didn't appeal to me. And so I'm just glad that, I'm glad that I did not let that control me, influence me. And I'm glad the way that I grew up, the way I did, I'm glad who I am now because I take a look back and I'm like, man, those same guys, literally my, one of my neighbors, sex offender, did this, did this, just got sentenced to 15 years. And I'm just kind of grateful. I know that might not seem, that might seem bad to say, but I'm just grateful I didn't go down that road. What well, up? You're reading? Uh, yeah, I, I was actually reading. Um, I, I ship out in a few days, so I was just reading The Artist Strategy. Okay. Um, Is that the military? Uh, yeah, so actually, I'm a nuclear physicist for the Navy, no. so I, I do that in a few in a few days. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay. How old are you? I am 27. I look a little young. I'm not. I'm not that young. Yeah, you look young. So, where do you live? Uh, so I'm actually in the Woodlands, Texas, right now. Um, right, right down there by Houston. I'm about 30 minutes away from Houston, so I'm a little close. Oh. Nice. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, man, where do I start? Uh, I like uh, I like martial arts a lot. I did uh, a bit of pharmacy uh, back when I was a little bit younger, about two, three years ago. I got certified at pharmacy around when I was seventeen. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. I went to university for a while. I was getting like a business degree, so I have a bachelor's in business. And then I did um, pharmacy for a little while, for about three years, and then got bored. So I was like, eh, let's go see what the military has to offer. Didn't do anything. Um, got my, I did my PiCat about a year ago, got a 96 on that. It goes up to a 99, got a 96. They offered me nuclear physics, and I was like, why the fuck not? So I went there, and now I ship out in a few days. Oh, okay, nice. Well, best of luck as you ship out pineapples. Yeah. Do you see what I mean when I say that type of lifestyle is not accepted? He's a freaking scientist. You can tell he's well-educated, well-spoken, but that's seen as boring. That's seen as, huh, right? If he had said, yeah, mom, I'm a rapper, I do this, I do that, and yeah, I like to do this, she might be like, okay. But because he's doing this, he's reading for, prepping for a test, that's boring. And that's what I mean is by like, the women in our own communities just do not, most women I would say, or at least the ones I've come across just do not find that um, appealing. And I, I guess, I, I guess I wonder why, like what's the root of that, you know? What's the root of glorifying someone, you know, who is toxic, someone who is, you know, I hate, I hate to use this word, but someone who is gangster or someone who is, you know, uh, seen as hard or, you know, like, why, why is that glorified? Like, that lifestyle is not, I don't know. I just wonder why it's glorified. So I ask you guys, uh, this could be a rhetorical question, but like, what is the solution? Or is there a solution? Is there a solution to having the world or particularly our own community see us in a different light like do we should we care that much honestly i i, I say we 
uh, as I speak for every black guy, I don't again. But uh, should I care that certain people are, you know, within the community that don't accept me? Or, or should I just say, you know what, I'm going to move however I move. If they do, fine. If they don't, okay. All right. I think that's how I think that's how I move now. And honestly, you get numb to it because it's, it's repeated so much. You know, when you see stuff like the fact that I got an anime, you know, tattooed on my arm right here, like. I, I see the things, you know, and I hear them a lot uh, every day, you know, online and social media and different things. And I just wish that sometimes society in general, not just with black people, I just wish that us as a whole could understand that there's more than that. Somebody's personality is not tied to their race or ethnicity. Somebody's personality is not tied to their race or ethnicity and that there's different some genres of every different race and just because you have been programmed to think this is one dimensional of what a black man should be this is how he should act that there's so many infinite amount of ways not only as a black man but as human beings that we can act and if you would get out of that tunnel vision and understand that we are complex and that we have, you know, different personalities and that does not make us weak. That does not make us feminine. That does not make us weird or trying to be somebody else. That doesn't make us gay. That doesn't make us you know, all the other names that people like to throw around when you're being proper or you're trying to move up in your education or you're doing some type of um, activity or some type of art that you love that's not necessarily um, mainstream or things like that. Just understand that we are complex, okay? Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if this does fit you, just know I am here for you. I understand what you're going through. And my advice, and I'm talking to myself just as much as I'm talking to you guys, or I'm talking to you specifically, I would say just keep moving how you're moving. No matter what it is, just keep pushing, keep grinding. And all of the um, negative stereotypes that we see in culture, don't let it affect you. Don't let your environment affect you. You just keep being you because the world does need your uniqueness, okay? I'm saying it to myself as well. The world needs your uniqueness. And I'm here if you wanna talk, you email me. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with one of your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.